Hey everybody, it's me again. And of course I'm saying hey everybody, so that means it's an iPhone video. Yeah! Thank you so much dev team for all your hard work. I, I don't get to say that enough. I don't think I say it at all in any of my previous videos. But thank you. You guys do fantastic work and you do it all for free. You guys deserve a lot of recognition and a lot of props. So, why are we here today? The 3.1 unlock came out. So, I'm going to show you how to unlock and jailbreak your iPhone 3G. Um, well, I'm, I'm showing with an iPhone 3G because that's what I have. Uh, this will also work for the iPhone 2G, but sadly, not the iPhone 3GS. Sorry, guys. First thing you have to do is download the Ponage Tool 3.1. That's available on the Dev Team blog. Just Google Dev Team, boom, right there. You'll get a torrent for it. Download it through the Pirate Bay. Next, you need to Google up 3.1 IPSW. That will get you the firmware, the actual, uh, the actual firmware that you can save on your desktop. That way, you can open up the firmware with the uh, Ponage tool and get right in and be able to write your own. I'm going to be installing Cydia and not Icy because I know Cydia. I know uh, you know everybody knows Cydia. Everybody loves Cydia. Icy's new. It's just like back when Installer was a big thing and CD was new. I'm sure six months from now, you can mark my words, six months from now I'll be saying, all right, I'll be installing IC. So, here we go. All right, here we have the Ponage tool. Standard interface for what we're used to. Uh, they didn't change anything up. Uh, I have my iPhone 3G plugged in. I've got my um, firmware right here, selected right there. That is <clears throat> for the iPhone 3G. It's 3.1. Newest that there is. New one comes out in about a week and a half, but whatever. I'm doing this now. I'm going to go into expert mode just because I know where I'm going. You select the, uh, the, the choice. You know, I'm doing the 3G. Just click browse. It's searching for the IPSW. It knows what to be looking for. There, it found it. I'm going to go into general. Um, activate the phone. I'm not activating because I don't need to unlock. Uh, that's what I'm doing. Cedia. I am installing Cedia. Uh, here it shows Cedia installer or IC. I'm getting rid of IC because I don't need it. Uh, I also don't want these. I want the normal logos, but you can actually go in and choose your own um, you know, boot thing. Uh, I, I do enjoy the pineapple, but I prefer regular. Uh, you select build, hit that. Uh, I choose desktop. Uh, you'll notice it says custom restore, unlike this that does not, obviously. Hit save, and it'll build. Okay, here we go. Um, keep saying 3GS, I'm not 100% sure. Why? Um, it has been cloned before. Uh, so yes, close it, uh, put it into recovery mode. Um, and we'll be all set. Now the trick here is to get it into DFU mode. The former method used to be that you would press and hold the power button and the home button at the same time for 10 seconds, and then after the 10 seconds you release the power button and hold only the home button for 10 seconds. Now the trick is to take your phone, turn it off, always takes a minute for it to power off, but it will in a moment. 
Now with the iPhone off, we press and hold the home button while plugging in the USB port. That will turn it on, and you keep holding on until that comes up. This will show you that you are in proper DFU mode, and iTunes will stay the same. iTunes has detected a phone in recovery mode. Must restore. You hit on a Mac, you hit Option, Restore. On a PC, it will be Shift, Restore. And now it's done. It's going to restart your phone, and you'll be all set. Um, key thing with 3.1 is it allows a faster boot time. Uh, at least that's what I've been told. Now it's asking me to hook up to iTunes, which it should recognize in a second. The slide for emergency, of course, is on the screen. And my iPhone is now activated. <coughs> I'm not going to do as a backup because it was a former firmware. Uh, I am going to redo everything. So, there you have it. That's everything that you need to know about how to jailbreak and update your iPhone to the newest firmware. Granted, on the 25th, there will be 3.1.1. Mainly, that's just going to be adding the MMS capabilities. I shouldn't be doing too much. But one thing that I want to share with all of you, you know that, but wait, there's more, is the fact that in Cedia, it's a little difficult to make sure you get everybody. You want to make sure that you can get all the ringtones you want to get. Get all the everything. Get all the apps that you could possibly get. So, it's important to get this source put into your phone. It's StephWiz. I want to make sure that I get his thing right here. It's uh, just go into Cedia, Sources, Edit, Add. apt.homecenter.com That is every source, every language, every app, everything. But you're not going to need everybody. Majority of you, you won't want French. I know that, that seems to be a big one. French is a big one on that. But it's really simple. It adds each one in the list. All you have to do is edit, delete them. That will take some time. I promise you that. Um, it will add, uh, it, it will want to recheck every single time. So, you're all set. Enjoy your iPhone.